I'm here on the red carpet at the 2012 National Reality TV Awards and what a night it's going to be. I'm going to be up there presenting in oh, 25 minutes and the butterfly is already starting and I'm going to be having a little chat with some of these celeb guests. Top celebrity chef Aldo Zilli, I mean Aldo, reality TV and cooking, who'd have thought it would actually go together? Well, they do go together because if you do a reality TV, you do more cooking <laughs> by, the, <laughs> by the looks of it. I've done one or two reality TV shows. As aside from TV shows based around cooking, do you actually watch much reality TV, would you say? I am absolutely hooked on anything to do with reality. Because, Which in particular? Uh, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Yeah. Really? And, uh, and I'm, at the moment, I'm hooked on Big Brother. Pat, it's the Reality TV Awards 2012. How much reality TV have you watched in 2012? Well, do you know what? I have watched probably more than I normally do, Tom, to be honest with you. Yeah, I haven't watched uh, an awful lot in the past, but this year's been quite a good year for it. I'm even watching the new Big Brother at the moment. Yes. Okay. And what do you think of the new Big Brother? Like it. <laughs> I want to go on the Big Mouth panel. Yeah? Yes. How important is it for reality TV to be out there? Well, I was really proud to be part of the Pineapple show because Pineapple was like a, a mockumentary. So in actual fact, it was reality, but it was also, it was, it was based around people with talent and all that kind of stuff. So it was a nice platform for me to do what I do. Um, I think I feel very strongly about the fact that if people make it and they don't have much talent, but they have great personalities, I think that's fantastic. And they just actually make it on the back of the fact they've got the gift of the gab and it allows real people to be seen in the public eye and the public can relate to that. So I think it's a really fantastic fantastic platform and I don't I don't think it's a bad thing at all I think it's not hurting anyone so uh, can we win? Can we win? <laughs> I've got no say I've got no say I wish I could do it we thought you'd help us out with that one. Oh, well, guys what would you say if, if you couldn't win if you were out of the competition tonight who would win one day, one day, one direction. Right. I think they've done so well, like yeah. across the country, like the whole world. So I think they're amazing. Yeah. And what would you say is your sort of non-music related? What would you say is your best or favourite reality TV show? I know it's Essex. Yeah, Towie. True Essex. Bit of Towie. Now I am here with an absolute <laughs> TV legend, Don't the always energetic, <laughs> the always energetic Mr. Keith Chegwin. Keith, how excited are you to be with us here this evening? I can't tell you how excited I am. I've seen all these faces from reality TV that I've been watching for weeks on end and months and years. So you're a big fan of the of the genre, then? You're a fan yeah, of reality. Oh TV? God, I love it. From uh, Jeremy Kyle to uh, the Jungle to Oh Big Brother, everything you can think of, I love it. I'm addicted to it. So we have got an absolute reality TV expert with us tonight ladies and gentlemen I cannot wait to see Keith later up on stage presenting an award and who knows what else could happen this evening it's as Keith always says it, anything could happen it's live <laughs> The 2012 National Reality TV Awards. Give yourselves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what an evening we have in store for you. We have celebrity guests, we have musical numbers, and we've even got a few awards to throw out here and there.